hello guys uh, welcome to this other tutorial where we are going to be learning the pixel lab interface and um, normally this is how your pixel app looks like whenever you open it so we want to learn the various functions the various uh, elements on our pixel app how to use them and i want us to start right down here with this option that you can see this a option okay this a option stands for all your text so as you see when i click on a i can click on text and i write a new text by double tapping on it you can just write any text for example i write good now if i want to make this in capital letters i just need to click here on this double t and everything will be in capital letters then i click ok and i have good now i want us to delete this other text so you can click on it and you click up here it will be deleted let's just work with this one so this other button is to edit the text if you want to edit it again this one is to delete it this is to copy it and uh, this is to send the text to front this applies when you have other elements in the design and you want the text to be at the front of every other thing in the design this is when you want the text to be at the back that is to go to the back of every other thing in in your design now this other button is for position and i want us to click on this position you see this is the steps how fast or how slow you want your uh, text to move if it is by 10 points it will move like this if we increase it you see now it's moving faster so this is the work of position it can be up it can be down it can be sideward it can be leftward depending on uh, where you want to place the particular text now this is for relative position so when you click on relative position you can centralize it okay you can centralize it like this uh, that is centralizing it vertically and you can equally centralize it uh, horizontal uh, horizontally by clicking on this so we can centralize let's put it first you see we can centralize it vertically and also centralize it horizontally now this one is to send your text to the far top right this is to send it to the far top left this is to send it to the down and this is to send it to to up so let's just quickly this is how it works okay so as you can see this is the function of relative position now to size we have size here which is basically for the size of a text but apart from that you can equally increase the size of a text holding it from from here so you can increase and reduce then we have this paddling okay paddling is when you have <clears throat> when you have a portion of the text not showing clearly so i'm going to show you guys something uh, this applies when you come to font so when you go to font fonts are handwritings okay for example let's give this text a font okay we give it this main font it's you click ok and you have it like this now if you come to paddling paddling can help you to hide a portion of the text you see it can help you to to hide it as well as to remove it because some fonts cover the a part of the text so you need paddling you can paddle to the left you can paddle to the right it all depends on you now for color as you all know it's just to give your text a color or a gradient you can see we have color color and gradient so gradient is a combination of two or more colors if you want to give your text two or more colors now we have texture texture here is to give your text uh, an image okay so when you click on texture you just need to click but here to give your text a an image for example we can choose on our gallery and uh, let's choose anything on our gallery and crop it okay let's just choose this text this image then you crop it so texture allows you to crop an image and put it in your text so you click ok all you need to do is to click ok here okay and you can see that we now have our text like that image so that is the work of texture 
then we have opacity opacity stands for how visible you want your text to be okay as you can see then rotate normally you can rotate your text to any direction if you want to undo the rotation all you need to do is to click here okay just click here and everything is done now we have max i'll come to max later font i already show you the handwritings styles is to bold your text and uh, to underline it it all depends on you okay on styles you can see all of that if you don't want you click on x to go out now curve is to bend your text as you can see you can bend it inwards or outwards then we have background is to give your text a background let's give it a background and a color now you see that the text has a background okay if you don't want you click on this x then align is to align your text this will not show to you guys well because we, we are working with just one uh, one uh, one word if we were many words we could easily see that effect uh, we did not undo rotation so let's just undo all rotation now you have spacing you can space out your letters and you can space the word so it's only one word here there's no impact but you can space out the the letters so if you don't want you undo and you continue so line spacing as well you need two or more words is a paragraph spacing then stroke is to add a, a stroke to your text as you can see yes a stroke width you can add increase and decrease it all depends on you then um for the stroke you can give it a color or a gradient normally then we have uh, shadow you can give your text a shadow okay and a shadow color now you can see you can increase the blur radius uh you can enable the outer glow okay so then we have inner shadow to so give your text an inner word uh, a shadow that is inward not outward uh, within then you have emboss emboss is uh to brighten your text okay this works well when you want to really brighten your text all the other options are there for emboss then you have perspective the work of perspective i will show you guys in another uh, tutorial then you have 3d rotation or this one also 3d you can give your text a 3d okay making it a 3d shape you can either choose to make it in a perspective or an oblique manner you see perspective and an oblique okay great now we have 3d shadow you can enable it and you have a shadow for a 3d then we have reflection if you want your text to reflect as you can see you can reduce and increase the reflection rate so guys this is the first part i don't want these tutorials to be too long this is the first interface that we are learning and it's for text the next one will be for shapes and images then the last will be for your pixel lab background see you guys in the next tutorial keep practicing